Okay, this video that I just produced is a, uh, the fuel rail on a 3.8 liter Series 2 V6 engine that's in the G, a lot of GM products. And the fuel rail is right here. Fuel pressure regulator right there. This is the fuel rail. This connection for the uh, outflow and the inlet. And the injectors are right here. Two, three. So uh, the video that you're getting ready to see is of the fuel rail and how to pull the injectors out and replace them back in the fuel rail itself. And the reason we're doing it is because this is my car and the fuel rail that we did the replace the injectors on were on my dad's car, which is the same exact engine. And the reason we did it is because everything else we did on the car did not take care of the problem. And what the problem was, he was driving along fine one day and just putting along and then all of a sudden, boom. And what happened was the one and four, these right here, quit working. So what we did was we replaced all these first, then we replaced the plugs, the plug wires, and uh, what else did we do? We replaced the air filter. And then we re we pulled out all the injectors and went ahead and made sure they were clean and the O-rings were good on those. And they were fine. And then we put it back together and it did the same thing. And we're like, what the heck is going on here? So what we found out was the ignition control module, these three packs right here, the, the ignition control module sits under those. This is it right here. This little bolt right here you undo. And then you unplug that from the, the connector from the ignition control module. And that's the part that was out on the vehicle. If we replaced that only, we wouldn't have had to do everything else. But everything was 130,000 miles old, so we went ahead and replaced it. And now it won't need a tune-up for millions of years now. And the way to remove it is to remove one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, pull those all out, and then this thing will come up automatically. And then you unre you re you remove this bolt. You can remove that first if you want to, but then you remove this bolt, and then this connector comes out, and that's the ignition control module that you have to replace. And then it won't misfire. These were the two that were misfiring, number one and number four. Number four is back there in the middle one. So now that we took care of that, the car runs like brand new. And uh, we're back on the road again. So this is some of the vacuum that I had to replace on this car. This right here. Had to make a plug for this T and replace this here. Um, had to make a new, put a new hose on this. Had to make a connection for this actually had to stick a piece of small vacuum line in this fat vacuum line to make this one work and then we have a piece here um, it's not kinked it looks like it could be flowing a little better but at least it's sucking and um, I might put a piece of rubber uh, another piece of hose on there because I don't like how it's collapsing but it seems like it's doing its job and uh, then there's one right here. So um, that's the reason for this video that's going on with the uh, fuel rail injector removal and installation. So where's the fuel rail? It's right here. So here we go with the video.
this is how I'm going to install the fuel injectors on this fuel rail. I numbered them when I pulled them out just to make sure that I put the same ones back in the same position that I had them when I pulled them out. Because we knew the number four was giving us a problem and the number one is a companion with the number four on the coil pack. So we're just making sure that they go back the way they came out. So if we're still having an issue, then we know where to go other than the fuel injector itself. So uh, we're going to go ahead and install these injectors back into the fuel rail. I have them marked. This one's two, four, six. And that's the back side of the fuel rail. This is the front side. This is the side that goes to the front of the engine. So there's one, three, five. The injectors are numbered one, three, five on this side. So we're going to go ahead and install them back into the fuel rail. add a little light coating of oil just to make sure the injector slides in to mount smoothly. Just make, they, make sure they say two, four, six. Two, four, six. That's the back side of the engine, which is the side by the firewall. Now this will be one, three, and five. Now we'll go ahead and put our retainers on. These are the retainers. If you're not careful taking these off, they will launch across the room on you. And you will wind up having to look for new ones. And I don't think they're really that easy to come by. So be careful when you remove these that they don't take off on you and you lose them. So we're going to go ahead and install these back on.
That's how you install injectors into a fuel rail, a 3.8 liter GM, which is called a Buick V6, on a 2002 Buick LeSabre. Hope it helped.